OK. Uh, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, my name is Jeanne Mascomier, a curator at the Acadie Museum at the University of Moncton. So it's a great pleasure to be here this morning to talk about our project. So this is our team, uh, our staff, I should say, uh, myself. We have Nicole Leblanc, who's a chair, uh, share uh, resources with the Art Gallery, and Bernard Leblanc, the other curator. Uh, Angèle Cormier also the share uh, resources with the Art Gallery, and I put NISC there because we're a small staff, but uh, we're usually the five of us in our building. So this is our building. We're part of the University of Moncton. So we are at the Keating Museum and the Art Gallery. It's the building called Clément Cormier. And of course, this is a great shot, and I noticed that NIS actually used the same one uh, session that we did last summer to get uh, the beauty of the building. So the Acadia Museum, we have around 44,000 44, object. It's a very cheap object from uh, textile, um, farming equipment. You would also have um, kitchen stuff, basically what you would find in an history museum. So we do have beautiful pieces. Uh, this year, the Ikiti Museum is 130 years old. So we have major pieces. One of our major pieces in the collection is the first Acadian flag, so from 1884. So that is also in the permanent exhibit. Another display of the permanent exhibit. So you have uh, here, uh, of course, panels, a couple of objects, and it's only a segment of what we have in the storage unit. We are also lucky to have a dis uh, temporary exhibit room. So we have a different exhibit that we create ourselves or that we get from other uh, organization uh, or museum across the Maritimes. We sometimes also use another space that we have. It's the hallway of the museum. But we do try to get an exhibit in there, different topics, usually smaller exhibit, a um, couple of showcase, and we sometimes use our own collection. It's always a great way to get those collection exactly out uh, of the storage unit to go in front. And that's what is interesting also with Rehor because you want uh, to get more out of it, of, of your collection. The Musée Acadien, we decided to do a section of our uh, storage unit. We decided to do the textile, and that's what we've been doing. What was interesting with the textile, when the project reorg started to arrive, it was already in our strategic planning. So we knew we wanted to work on that se section, and reorg kind of, kind of happened to us. So it was a great push in. So, yeah. So Nis show you this part uh, also earlier in her presentation. So this is the museum storage. It's always fun when we do have visitors to visit the storage that we don't do often, but when we do, we always say that what visitors see is actually smaller than what we have in the back. So storage is always a place really romantic. People are interested in it. But of course, not a lot of people do see it. So with a project like Reorg, what we're hoping to do with the textile is actually to learn more about the collection, understand it a little bit more, and then showcase it better to the public. 15 years ago, we did have a textile collection, um, curator. She worked in the collection, she documented it, she prepared it, she made it beautiful. And 15 years ago, reorg happened and we're stepping. So nothing was done all through the 15 years that she was not around. So for me, it's a big challenge. Textile is not really my forte, but I decided still to take the challenge to quite understand a bit the collection, and actually r really liking it right now. So what we're gonna be doing is only one half. 
It's a beautiful place to have the textile because there's no bulb, no light. So that's where the location was chosen. When we decided to look at the textile, we also needed to look at other sections within the museum or the storage unit because we knew there was textile elsewhere. So even if I did the inventory of the textile, I also tried to look at all the tech segment to spot any other textile. And it was really interesting because there are way more than we expected. Uh, for example, in the military, uh, we had a lot of textile in that owl. We also had textile in the kids section. So looking at those textile and what we will do about it, I'm not sure still if we're going to move it to the textile owl or keep the system that we do have it's more team base. So this is what the storage look now in this te textile section. Of course, you see all those beautiful blankets and they're, they're folded, so that's not the idle. I forgot to put that one. So when we did our cell evaluation, we, we were in the middle bit. I was happy with the result when we did the evaluation. So for us, some of the emergencies are to be trying to get this, the, the, the uh, unit where the uh, textile are in to be a little bit more freely uh, so we can actually move them out of them. <laughs> uh, we uh, are looking at that, so making hangers could be an option and other solution, of course. And that was my happy dance. I'm gonna tell you why I had a happy dance. We had at the back of the aisle actually um, an armoire. And it's been there for, I think, 17 years. So the armoire was always problematic for me because I could never go see what was underneath. So with the technician, with Angèle Cormier, we actually decided to look at the collection where we could move that aisle, that armoire. So we find a spot, we looked at it, measured it, and we were actually moved that piece. And after that piece was moved, actually could move those boxes. So there was one on that one. There was three big boxes, and I never saw, I never knew what was in them. So I moved the boxes, and three of them were empty. <laughs> I had a happy dance, <laughs> it was amazing. So those one I haven't done yet, so my hope is that they are also empty. <laughs> I was lucky to have uh, some uh, young professional working with me. Uh, Tino Leblanc has been in and out the collection for a couple of years now, and she's really good with textile, so she's helping cleaning some of the uh, military uh, jacket that we had because we we're planning an exhibit this summer. So by working with the textile, we're also trying to tar target other uh, issues uh, and maximizing everyone's time. We also had um, Algonquin um, a students, a field placement from the Algonquin College. Uh, she's with me until the end of April. So she decided to do boxes. Uh, what we look at the collection, we saw that we had a lot of jewelry, and it was actually her who said, why won't we move those jewelry another this spot? Uh, and uh, she talk, took on the project. She created boxes for them, she moved it. It's a secure uh, showcase, so it was a really interesting that because I was trying to explain to her what it was all about, and the initiative came from her, and she did a great project with that, so that was a date she decided to do a lot of boxes. <laughs> also something I wanted to say, and that I f felt was interesting for me, is sometimes when we start a project like this, we think we need all the technology and all the, the f food that you could have, but a lot of inspiration can come actually from books you have in your libraries, old magazines that are, are, are around. So I started to look at those and trying to get how can I 
store those textiles because it's an unknown topic. It's something that you don't really have all the knowledge. So we probably have a lot of those information already in our museum. It's just to put the dust off and try to open uh, those books and look at any imagery that could actually child, uh, inspire you to do something different with your uh, storage. And Pinterest. <laughs> I mean, I, I was using Pinterest, but not for museum work. So I really am impressed. It's amazing, inspiring, beautiful pictures. You can share it with others. So I've been sharing those ideas with Jocelyn, and then she might try to do it in the storage. So it's, it was fun to look at that. You can create your own um, a wall and then keep it, and, it's, and you can share it with other staff if you need to. And talk about it. Talk about it, make publicity, make press release, whatever you want to do. Why I'm saying that it's important for your directors, your manager, your board directors to understand that for one year, if you're working on your collection or if it's three months, it's going to take time off from other part of your jobs. And I'm lucky enough that they do understand that, but sometimes, you know, when a new project kind of happens and everybody gets excited, well, if they understand it better, you can say, well, for this year, actually, I'm working on reward. So you know this is going to be taking a bit more time. And they say, oh, yeah. They don't understand. But they do say, oh, yeah. So talk about it. Take to, talk to your manager and make it public. Thank you. <laughs>